side 15 billion dollars. So which is uh, uh, slightly more than 2% of the global trade. Since we are a huge industry and a huge market, we have a long way to go. So we in the government assessed the strengths of our Indian auto industry. We have reached a critical mass. But now when we look at the advanced automotive components, they comprise as of today about 3% of the value in terms of Indian auto sector production. Currently, this ratio is at 18% when we look at the global auto sector. By estimates, because of the more and more connected vehicles, shared vehicles, autonomous vehicles coming in, this 18% is likely to go to 30% at global level by 2030. So, to increase the size of Indian auto industry, this is the area we need to focus. So that's how this PLI scheme has been framed. In these advanced automotive components, where our production is low, it's mainly because we lack economies of scale, we lack technology, we lack supply space. So Indian auto industry requires a great structural change to reach there. The PLI scheme is to act as a catalyst and help the industry in bringing about this structural change so that Indian auto industry is put on the trajectory of a much higher growth rate. With this objective, we have decided that advanced automotive component supply chains which are either weak or non-existent, the government should be helping them to the extent the industry in auto faces cost disabilities. The industry projected these cost disabilities in the range of 15%. The government is meeting that cost disability fully without any cut. And we are hopeful that this will lead to an investment of more than 45,000 crores over the next five years in the Indian auto sector. And this will lead to incremental production of advanced automotive products to the tune of rupees 2,31,500 crores and generate additional job of 7.6 lakhs. So this is the basic objective of this PLI scheme. Currently, Indian auto sector already has a surplus capacity. We know it because. They are depending upon the sector which you are saying, their capacity utilization is about 60 to 70 percent. Besides that, in the five years preceding COVID, Indian Auto got about 34 billion dollars of investment. So, auto industry in India is pretty much show they brought the investment on after full calculation that that will fetch them profit. Right? So, any investment which is already fetching profit, why should the government pay for it? After all, where from the government money is coming? It's the taxpayer's money. That opportunity cost of every penny. So that money could have gone elsewhere. Now what is not happening in India? Should happen in India, why? Because if we are, auto is a big industry. We are number 11 in value terms globally. Whereas, looking at our side, we ought to be in the top five. How to make that happen? How to make it grow much more? Something industry is doing. But other thing, industry is not so forthcoming because of the cost is 